Welcome to the Daffy Dave Balloon Art Circus Tutorial Number 4. Today, <laughs> this beautiful St. Cassie's Day spring setting, is my balloon regalia. We're going to learn how to do the basic butterfly balloon, which is probably one of the easiest ones to do, and the basic short, also pretty easy. So what you're going to need, of course, are these long 260, that's the name of the, the number of these balloons, they're skinny long and they're called 260s, and <clears throat> you can order them online at Qualitex or MyFriendBalloonCreations.com, you can order them there or at T. Myers, several places you can go online and order these, or you can buy them at some of your local party stores that they're more expensive. And what you do with the basic butterfly balloon <clears throat> first learn how to blow these things up, which if you do it by your mouth, it's kind of unsanitary, it's a little harder to do, it's bad for your eyes and your ears. So I always use the <laughs> electric pump, um, which is a rechargeable <laughs> motor and a fanny pack with a rechargeable battery. However, um, probably the cheapest, easiest way is with a balloon hand pump, which I'll show you in a minute. But if you wanted to learn how to blow them up, uh, stretch out the balloon to get it soft, and then you, <clears throat> you hold the balloon with both fingers, both sides of the balloon, and you puff, and you puff the air in first, like this, and you just puff it in to get it started. And then, once you get it started, you take a deep breath. So the butterfly balloon, you're going to leave about an inch or so at the end uninflated. <clears throat> and you want to leave a little uninflated because um, every, every time you make a twist on the balloon, then the air will keep going in here and it won't pop the balloon. <clears throat> so you tie the balloon by tying it around your two fingers and tucking it in right there. Then you fold the balloon over so it comes together and you go in about an inch or two, press, twist, about three or four times, and then you have, this will be the wings, you push down here at the middle, crunch it all together, twisting it like this, and shaping it so that you have the wings, the butterfly's head, the tail. Now, to get the wings looking a little better, Pull on it right here. It shapes the wings better. This side too. How you doing? And now you have the butterfly. Of course, you can draw some eyes over here with the sharpie, and you know, like this, that, and a little mouth. There you have the butterfly balloon. <laughs> now, the um, air, the uh, sword balloon is also very easy. What you do is you take a nice 260, all the text balloon is probably the best, and uh, I'm going to use my electric pump here, so it goes a lot quicker. Place it on the nozzle, push the button. Isn't that easy? Okay, and for the sword balloon, you don't have to leave too much, maybe just a little bit, so it's not so much pressure. Blow it all the way up to the top. Then you tie it again, two fingers tucking under. Now, the basic sword, you just bend so that it's about maybe 10 inches here, and then the long part comes down. Then you fold it up one more time, so it looks like the letter N with a long extension here. That's going to be the blade area. And these are going to be the handles here. So you push all three together, you fold both hands, <coughs> twisting it together about three or four times. Then you have the basic sword balloon. And you can balance it like this. La, 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 la. Okay, so there's lots of things you can do with this. Now, I can make it easier for you, um, actually, correction, I can make it more difficult for you by simply making a pirate sword, which um, <coughs> takes a couple extra steps. You use the pirate sword. 
want to do a thing that's called the pear twist. You poke in the balloon right here, and you press in and grab the knot with your other hand, okay? And you twist it, you make a little uh, end of a handle thing, and then you make a loop like this, about four inches, twist it, and then twist the twist into the twist, and then you stick the other, the side through there, you have, voila, the pirates. Now, you might want to review this a couple of times, and maybe take it slower and practice. You just got to remember to have one hand pinching and the other hand twisting. Have fun!